What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Welcome back to another Tekken Revisited video. If you like these videos, please leave a like so I know what to focus on in the future, if you guys want more of this. But honestly, every time I do one of these, especially in Tekken 4, I use this stage and my heart is filled with warmth. Oh, this stage is so beautiful. This has to be in the top 5 of best Tekken stages ever. Uh, so I know we can't have a stage o uh, object interaction these days on Tekken stages. Well, any game after Tekken 4, but being able to push people into palm trees, uh, you know, walking down the slope into the water, it gets deeper and deeper. It's just... Ugh. There's this, you know, real world interaction I feel like we've never had since then, and I really like it. But in this video, I'll be talking about Marduk, a character I really, really enjoy these days. This was actually his very first appearance. It was in Tekken 4. And as you can see, well, he has hair. On one of his outfits, he has hair, which is really badass. And I, I love his outfits, his very first designs. And if you look at, take a look at his ending, he actually, character-wise, is slightly interesting. And then in Tekken 5, they did to him what they did to Paul. They just dumped them down, and suddenly he's just a screaming, angry grunt, basically. Um, but he, he's actually really cool in Tekken 4. He's extremely weak. We're gonna take a look at it. But the foundation for what was to become Marduk was there. But, uh, well, he, he was lacking a lot of stuff. Uh, but making up for everything was the Bum Rush. So I didn't make up that name. If you look to the bottom left there, you see that this is the Bum Rush. When Marduk really doesn't like people who are poor and malnourished, you know, and have, don't have any teeth. He goes up to them and he rushes the bums. Ah, how dare you be poor? Eesh, eesh. So yeah, the bum rush, which, lo which looks absolutely pathetic. <laughs> A couple of slaps. <laughs> he slaps away your popcorn, you know, when you're... Um, I mean, he's the evil guy. He's the heel of Tekken. You go to watch, you know, you go to the cinema. You've got some fresh popcorn. Up comes Marduk and he bum rushes you and you drop your popcorn. Uh, so yes. <laughs> Just a classic attack. This really made everyone laugh quite a bit in Tekken 4. You'd pick Marduk and you'd just do this all day long. It was like a shield, an impenetrable shield. Uh, so yeah, Bomb Rush, number one. Um, and another interesting thing to note is that Marduk these days in Tekken 7 is not in proportion. He looks like Shrek, you know, huge upper body, teeny tiny little legs. But here he's in proportion, as you can see. He has very long legs. And he is this way up until Tag 2. It's actually in Tekken 7 they decide to shrink his legs. And they've done so with a lot of characters. You can actually look at uh, Kazuya in Tag 2. Long legs. In Tekken 7, they sh they've shrunk them a little bit. It's, it's quite interesting what they do to the characters. They did the same to Jin from Tekken 6 to Tag 2. Already in Tag 2, Jin's legs are a teeny tiny bit shorter. Uh, but so, Marduk in proportion, and in Tekken 4, limited juggling. It might be hard to believe these days, as, as you're so used to Tekken 7 Season 3, where wall travel is endless. Combos last forever, and the damage, well, pretty much the same. But in this game, this is his very basic combo. You launch with down forward 1, and then 1, 2, forward 1. And that's it. And this is the big boy combo. Eesh! And that's it. This is literally it. You know, talk about not breaking the pacing and momentum of a match. Launch. Uh, uh, uh. A combo lasts all of one second in this game. And wall travel? Yeah, forget about it. So this is just to demonstrate, you know, how much this game really favored poking rather than launching. Uh, but if he got, he, he he had a strong throw game in this game. He already has the forward forward one plus two launching. Here he has access to a really cool combo, which which actually actually does a lot, and is remarkably technical for a Tekken four combo. You have to walk in slightly, go into ready position, and do uh, the, the ready one. 
or while standing one. And then jab down to four. And as you can see, it's you can absolutely drop this. Oh god, I am dropping it. Come on, main man. Ah, there we go. 62 damage. Uh, and that, that's big boy. You know, most people would just do back four here. <laughs> Why do I make everything look so hard when I'm doing YouTube videos? It's the YouTube curse. But so yes, that was 54 damage, I think. Uh, but the big boy was 64, right? But so again, very limited juggling. But so already a strong grapple game. So the, the, the big problem for Marduk in this game is that, you know, you want to tackle. Tackle is amazing. And the tackle is very special in this game. We're going to take a look at it. But it's kind of hard to set up when everyone's in your face poking away. Steve or Jin was usually, you know, uh, what you were going up against. And there's no movement in this game. So you, you can't really back away. You know, try and uh, poke them down. We already have one down four down two, sorry, then move away, set up a tackle, it, it, it's just not happening. But he did have other ways of going into tackle, uh, we're gonna look at them. Uh, but so limited juggling, he's very weak, but he has nice throws, and throws are very hard to break in this game, very hard. You only have a few frames to react, it's much much harder than Tekken 7. Um, so you see, we, we have a throw, Northern Light Suplex into Mount by tapping 1 plus 2. And, we're, and let's look at the tackle. The tackle is very different uh, in, in its first game. And it has huge damage potential. Look how different this is. That's quite a bit different, isn't it? That's because you get four punches. Four. In Tekken 7 you do one. But in Tekken 7 you have a three-way mix-up. One, two, one plus two. In this game, two-way. Only one and two. But you get four punches. Even if your opponent blocks one, you get to continue. And if you land the fourth punch, he will automatically transition into one of those uh, throws. Which is the way it works in, uh, in Tekken 7. But so that actually does, if I get everything, 74 damage. Look, look how much damage it is. 10 damage for every jab. So left, right, left, right. You can see you can delay quite a bit. Uh, so I want to show you guys what it looks like when I block one of those. Oh, oh, wait, we, we can show the parry first. Parry was actually really good. You see, back one plus two to parry punches and kicks. And here again, we get the full, full thing. The bad parry was good to have because setting up tackles was hard. And again, being able to do uh, the mount from a throw was, was very good, especially as the throws are so hard to break. Uh, but I do want to show you guys what it looks like uh, if I block one of these punches. He's going to charge me and he's going to do triangle. <clears throat> and I ate it to the face. You actually can't hold in this game. You actually have... In Tekken 7, if you hold left, he holds up his arms in a left guard. But here, you have to actually time it, which is really obnoxious and hard. Uh, and you gotta do it for all four punches, for, for it not to add up to ridiculous damage. I'm, I'm really trying here. He's doing a sneaky delay. There, you see I blocked it? But as you can see, then he gets to continue. So even if you block it, he gets, you know, three more. And if he lands the fourth punch, he will automatically transition into the throw. So as you can see, the tackle is very different and very interesting. But it's good that they, with, with already the next game in Tekken 5, they changed it to what we have today. Tackle, and then one punch, one guess, and then he does the throw. Because this just breaks up the pacing so much. The tackle itself lasts a while. And then with four punches that you can delay. 
And when I throw, it, it just lasts too long. Breaks the momentum of a match. I'm, I'm happy they changed that, even though this is pretty interesting. Uh, and then we can look at some of his key moves. The back two, look how funky the animation looks. It looks like trash compared to today. But this still remains one of his most important attacks. And it was already here uh, in Tekken 4, his first game. But yeah, the animation looks like trash. Uh, he goes he goes down way deeper today, bends his legs and really, you know, puts all of his might into a punch. Um, but it's still a counter hit launcher here, as you can see. Very nice. I have no idea what the follow-up is, uh, but he probably doesn't get too much. Uh, Downford 1 is there, his long range uh, 15 frame launcher, uh, but as you can see, it doesn't have any range. <laughs> Marduk was not good in this game. Um, and then when 2 forward 1 is there for frame advantage in case we don't duck that hit, back 4, heal bazooka is there. Down free, a key low for him still is there. Uh, minus on hit. Uh, up for three plus four, <laughs> foot stomp. Classic Marduk. One, two, three, one plus two. Down for one plus two, headbutt. I'm just showing some key moves. Uh, mount forward two. This is a uh, wall bounce power crush in Tekken 7. Uh, and then forward one plus two. Power Crush in Tekken 7, doesn't even knock down here, a very bad move. And interestingly, while standing 1, doesn't have its 2 follow-up, it's a key move. And when you do it from uh, ready position, you can't cancel it back into ready position. Down for 2, again, doesn't have the 1 follow-up, it's terrible, terrible. Uh, and he has no air throws. Those were introduced in Tekken 5, but interestingly, he has no ground throws. Marduk without ground throws. What is this? What is this? Uh, and that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, about Marduk in this game. So again, we have a very interesting... Uh, uh, I wonder if that actually flips here. No, it, it doesn't switch sides. I counter it. Man, so different. Uh, but so, like, uh, he had the froze. That was nice. Ford Ford 1 plus 2 was there already. Uh, tackle, very different and interesting. Parry goes into tackle. Uh, we can't throw into tackle. Very nice. Um, there, that also, so there, but he still has the 1-2, one, 1 plus 2 perfect throw game into mount. Um, but so yes, there's no movement, hard to set up the tackle, his poking and frames are just simply terrible. Especially in a game that had, you know, the best gin and a insanely broken Steve. Uh, yeah. But he was very interesting. His design was really cool. I miss long hair Marduk, and I miss when he was more of a character. Do watch his ending in Tekken 4. It's it's pretty cool. It's nothing that's gonna blow your mind, but seeing Marduk not being Shrek is is interesting. Not seeing Paul be Shrek is interesting. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. And again, if you like these types of revisited videos, please leave a like so I can, you know, assess and see what type of content to prioritize in the future going forward. So thanks for listening to me. Take care, everyone.